Okay, why do our patients get thrush after surgery? Why do you get thrush after surgery? Well, we want to talk a little bit and remind you that maybe before this surgery, you might have been on a diet. Ever been on one of those diets where you eat a lot of fat? One of the high fat diets where you're trying to get ketotic. Does that sound familiar where you get, I'm trying to eat a high fat diet because I want to get into ketosis. Do you remember that from any of your diets? Yeah. The theory behind that is ketosis is the amount of ketones, which are chemicals like acetone, in the bloodstream, which are the waste products of burning fat. So if your body burns fat, just like if you breathe oxygen, you exhale carbon dioxide. Okay. If you burn up fat, one of the end products of that re chemical reaction in your body is a ketone. Ketosis, that's fat being burned. Well, all of you have starved for a week. Compared to your usual caloric intake, you are ketotic. Okay. If you wanted to, you could go get, remember the urine dipsticks where you check your urine to see if you're ketotic, if you're on some of those diets? Okay. You're ketotic and you're welcome. <laughs> but that ketone is like acetone. It's a pretty, you know, acetone is the, is the nail polish remover. Really pungent, powerful, organic chemical. I don't think you'd really want acetone in your body, would you? And ketone's a very similar chemical and it's being released into the bloodstream and actually as the blood goes through the mouth that ketone tends to release in a gas into your mouth. As the ketone gas goes in there it kills the normal bacteria which live in your mouth. And the only thing that can live in there sometimes is a yeast called candida. Not Canada but candida. And that yeast then causes thrush. It causes that kind of white or dark colored growth. It can cause a sore throat because that yeast grows in the environment that no other normal bacteria can live in because of the ketosis and the ketones. And you can also, if you're a lady, have that same kind of changes happen down below with a yeast infection down there as well. And the same kind of thing is that tends to pass as you get over the worst of the ketosis and your body's normal bacteria start to grow back. First few months, I smelled really funky. Ketones, that's the ketones. ketones. Oh my God, it was like... Yep. Oh, I smell, and it's scrum, scrum, And you can't scrum, get scrum. it right because it's a gas coming off the skin. And come, anywhere the blood goes, it's like a gas leaking out of your skin okay, so. because you are burning so much fat. Yeah. You were ketotic, and yeah. you could test that if you had any interest. <laughs> yeah, it's that kind, and you you can't clean your mouth. You know, it's like uh, no matter what you do, because that's that ketone, and it's imagine you know breathing. Um, nail polish remover. It's like, ooh, that's a chemical. It's not an attractive, fun thing. That's the fat being burned at such a rate that the ketones kind of just, you know, come off. And that's, it's, from one side of things, it's a good thing because you're massively losing weight. Yeah. But on the other hand, it gives that unusual kind of chemical smell that you can't scrub off because it's in the blood. It's like if you've had, yeah, and that's because now you've normalized in this new, uh, situation. But it's like if you have a whole bunch of garlic, you know, that yeah. person smells like garlic because that chemical is coming out of the bloodstream, you can't fix it. How long should the thrush last? Uh, it depends on you and your fat loss and all those things and, and everybody else is a little different. There are a few things you can do to help. You can take, the, of course, the um, Nystatin. Mm -hmm. um, you can eat some good bacteria. We've been eating lots of yogurt. Right, because that's going to replace those yeast bugs with some good, what are called probiotics. Those are bacteria that we like. There are bad bacteria we don't like. Helicobacteria, pneumonia, pneumococcus, they're staph. They're bad boys. We don't like them. 
but there are friendly bacteria as well, and yogurt is a good choice. Plus, you can just gently, you know, brush and clean your mouth, and gradually, as your body stops metabolizing all that fat, you'll get rid of that, and the normal bacteria will grow back. Other questions?